Hello everyone who has clicked on this video. It's been a few days or weeks or months since the Oscars, Academy Awards, Emmys, and other awards that were delivered. And I can't even be bothered to check when this was so I can be accurate in my video because I just don't care. In fact, I've never cared about these awards. This isn't something where I don't like it but I can see why others might like it and I just have to understand that it's not for me. No, I cannot see why anyone would care about which films get the Oscars at that time every year. Allow me to elaborate, but know that it's not a very complicated concept. It all really begins and ends with you as a person. I implore you to read the books you want to read, listen to the music you want to listen to, and watch the movies you want to watch. And let's just stop caring what everyone else thinks about the entertainment we consume. Sounds like a good idea, right? This year, I plan to see Man of Steel, Star Trek Into Darkness, The Wolverine, and Iron Man 3. Out of these movies, do you know which ones are going to get an Oscar? None of them. And do you know what? I don't care. If some boardroom full of people in their 90s don't like that Iron Man film that I want to see, that doesn't have any impact on me or my life at all. The only way that other people and their tastes can have any kind of impact on me is if I go to see a movie and I enjoy it, but I'm afraid nobody else will enjoy it, and I fear that everyone else hating on the movie I liked will result in the film getting a low box office intake. And if it's a movie like any of the films I mention, then there's always the hope of a sequel. All of the movies I mentioned are either sequels or remaking a franchise that has had sequels or both. And if I love the movie Push, but everyone else says it's garbage, and then the movie makes a disappointing weekend at the box office, then the chances are everyone else having a poor opinion of the film will then affect my desires to see the film warrant a sequel via the money it raked in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the only reason anyone should care about what other people think of the movies we like. Unless you actually worked on the movie, and people liking the movie will mean you get more money or something. But the Oscars have nothing to do with what I just mentioned. We're talking about when a movie has been out and is probably already on DVD, and everyone already knows that it did well or it did poorly in terms of how much money it made. And for some reason, everyone else on the planet seems to put so much investment into what a certain group of people think about the movies they liked and disliked. And I ask again, why? Why should anyone care? What if we turn this around? What if I got up on a stage that is being televised and is being watched by millions of people and I told them all that the bestest movie of the year is not Lincoln or Life of Pi, but is Star Trek? They'd laugh me off the stage. YouTube would be ablaze of the guy who is now silently passing judgment on the movies that this particular crowd of people likes, simply by stating that a different movie is the best one, just because I said so. Why should anyone care if I have no desire to see Lincoln or Life of Pi? And likewise, why should I care if the 90-year-old people in the boardroom don't care about Iron Man 3? This is how films work. I'm much more interested in science fiction and fantasy, and the kinds of things that can't ever really happen in real life. That's why I am going to watch Iron Man 3, Man of Steel, and The Wolverine. If people with adamantium claws actually existed, and they went around slicing and dicing, then I'd be terrified of that dude, and it'd be a lot like watching the news, so I wouldn't go to see a movie about him. On that same token, not everyone is interested in science fiction and fantasy. Some people only like boring movies with lots of talking and historical importance and the like. And you know what? Everyone can be happy. The guy who likes spaceships and flying Kryptonians can go to the movies he likes, and he can enjoy himself as much as his brain allows it. And the people who like to watch movies about dead presidents can go watch the movies they like. Except that there's still a certain group of people who will never be happy because you're still going to see them whining like little babies about why Andy Serkis didn't win an award for his performance in Rise of the Apes. If you liked Rise of the Apes, then who really cares if Serkis won an award or not? I mean, sure, Serkis is probably not happy about it, but you're not Andy Serkis, so stop worrying about it.
What makes this all the more maddening is that the people who are complaining about their favorite movie or show not getting an award, at least the ones I see, they don't seem to understand this whole concept, even when it's explained to them. Some weeks back, I made a similar rant to what you are hearing now on my personal Facebook page, and suddenly people start commenting on my status. I'm paraphrasing, but they're saying, yeah, you're right, I can't believe that Fringe didn't win an award, am I right? You can't tell, but I'm putting a huge ellipsis after this quote because words cannot describe the sheer magnitude of the dumb. You just missed the entire point of my rant. And let me go ahead and make my apologies to people who do like the Oscars and the other awards I can't even tell apart. I would definitely like to know why people do put such importance on these films when they have no investment in them beyond the enjoyment that they get from watching them. But sadly, I feel this breach between myself and everyone who thinks there is some weight to winning these awards will never be broken, and I will always remain in the dark about why people care about this sort of thing. I guess that's really all I have to say. I know that there's not much use in me shouting about my frustrations about this topic in a video, but it feels good to get it off my chest. And hey, you never know, maybe someone felt a veil being lifted from their eyes, as if they were blindly following the Oscars with bated breath, and now they realize the futility. Maybe, I don't know. If that doesn't happen, I won't shed many tears. I still feel pretty right in putting my thoughts on this topic here. And if you have thoughts, be sure to put them in the comments of this video, or make a video response. Until then, I'll see you guys next time with some other kind of video.